Hey team, today we're going to talk about how you can sync your VS Code settings with any device. I'm Colby Fayot, and if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe below for future updates. VS Code is an awesome code editor. This editor provides a lot of features in one place. But if you happen to manage multiple environments, like maybe a work laptop and a personal laptop, you might want to try to have the same settings wherever you work. VS Code doesn't have this baked in by default, but luckily there's this extension called Settings Sync that lets it do it for us. The way it works is you log in with GitHub through the extension, and you actually store your account settings in a private JSON file using GitHub GIS. This GIS is just simply a dump of all your settings and that way it can sync it between different devices. So the first thing we want to do is actually look for the extension. So inside VS Code we can look for settings sync, find it, and then we can install it. Next we need to log in with GitHub. So we can go ahead and click the login with GitHub link and open it up. And once that page is loaded, you'll see that it's GitHub's OAuth. So you want to go ahead and log into your account. And once you're successfully logged in, you'll see the success message and you can now close this tab. Once you go back to settings sync, once you already have some gist, you'll be able to select your existing gist here. But we're going to close that tab and go back to the interface where we have the dashboard. Now, since we don't actually have a configuration file set up yet, the first thing we want to do is actually upload it. So we're going to open up our command palette and we're going to type sync and upload, hit enter. And the first time you do this, you might see this little message in the corner that says that it'll replace the gist. Now, since we don't have it yet, we want to upload it forcefully, so click yes. And then you can see it successfully synced. Now, if we go to the gist website, we can see that it has this cloud settings file. We click into it, we can see all of our new settings, and we can see the timestamp to match when we just updated it. Now, if I make any changes to my configuration, such as if I want to change the color theme to, let's say, Abyss, uh, we can save that and we can update that. Let's sync, update and it'll go ahead and update it. Now, say you're on a new computer and you wanna download these settings. Now, it's gonna be pretty much a similar process as we just went through, except this time, instead of updating it, you're gonna download it. So to show how this works, I went ahead and reinstalled Settings Sync. Now, since we don't already have a gist in our local environment, we wanna actually add that. So we hit Edit Configuration this time. And to get started, we'll see this Enter Gist ID field. The gist ID that we wanna use is the same cloud settings that we just created with our other environment. So we want to go to the URL and copy that ID, and then we want to paste it in the energy gist ID field. And once you do that, you can hit the command palette and go sync, download, enter, and it'll download the settings. And as you can see, the last update that I added was for the color change theme. So it reset that my settings to that theme. And that works really great, but you also have some other features available, such as if you want to automatically download or automatically upload anytime you make any changes. That way you don't ever have to think about it as you're moving through different environments. Also, if you prefer not to actually sync the extensions, you can go ahead and remove those options at the bottom. So if you follow along with me, you should be able to sync your VS Code settings to any environment. This makes it much simpler to be able to have your favorite VS Code settings in any environment you work in. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.